April Oktoberfest might be over, but it's never too late to drink a good German beer. And what better to drink from than a German Stein? Our sister station in Seattle got a look at one man's Stein collection that goes way beyond tradition. Cats, castles, dogs, and drinking. Every Stein tells a story, some of them strange. As you can see, there's a gnome riding on a frog. <laughs> Elaine Steenbecke of Puyallup has been collecting Steins ever since his mom got him one for Christmas in 1982. It just grew from there. It's amazing the variety of Steins that are out there. They're so interesting and it's not easy to make them. Among his 600 Stein collection, Steins commissioned by castle owners, regimental Steins that belong to soldiers, animal Steins, some with double meaning. Kata is the, Dutch, uh, the German word for a uh, cat, but it also means hangover. So if you see a cat depicted on a Stein, it means watch out. <laughs> if you drink too much, you're gonna have a hangover. His most valuable Stein? So this is a three, well, four liter Stein by Metlock. This monster is worth $2,000, maybe because of the story it tells. It has so much going on with this. On the side of the Stein, you see him hoisting up the kegs to the castle, and you see this little hand in the Stein. But what cracks me up is you see on the top here, this woman looking down at him, dismayed, going, oh, there's just too much partying going on. <laughs> but Elaine's heart belongs to this woman, born around 1890. My favorite, all-time favorite Stein. He's just amazingly made. And back here, it's her hair flowing, forming the handle. I just love that Stein. No two Steins are alike, but most of them do have one thing in common. And it's interesting too, because if you open up these steins, you still smell the old beer in there. <laughs> and despite all the depictions of drink and debauchery, these steins' working days are behind them. They make their owner happy without the beer. I have so many steins, but I've only drunk out of maybe five of them. So it's just, you know, they're mostly for show. They're mostly for me to sit here and enjoy.